I think sometimes we get these people in society that there's so little criticism of them. When you offer even mild criticism, people view it as hate. And I have said last week, Green Bay's not a top 10 team in this league. And the cheese heads uh, sent me all sorts of hate tweets. I don't think you're a bad football team, but I do not think you're a top 10 team in this league. And once again, Aaron Rodgers has not beaten a team on the road with a winning record since 2012. And I looked at every single road game they have played. They don't have what, have what you would call a high-quality road win since their Super Bowl winning year. Now, Aaron Rodgers, home and away, is very good. His passer rating, both home and away, is over 100. Um, so I don't that that's it's not that away from home he's a bad quarterback. He's always very good. But I do strongly believe in this, and I'll say it over and over again. Mike McCarthy is his head coach. My sources in the league have said over time they don't love each other. Mike McCarthy is absolutely considered one of the top offensive minds in the National Football League and is a top five play caller in this league if you ask around. He and Aaron don't see eye to eye. So this year, McCarthy relieved himself, stepped away from the play calling duties. What do you know? Aaron Rodgers isn't quite as good. Aaron Rodgers is not easy to get along with. I feel that from sources is true. I know a former Green Bay Packer who was on several teams with several good quarterbacks told me that Rodgers could be moody week to week and day to day. There have been three different Packer players, Greg Jennings, Donald Driver, Jermichael Finley, who have been critical of him while being a teammate. So he's fought with his head coach. I know that to be true. He's not always gotten along with teammates. I know that to be true. He still holds a grudge against Cal. You ever seen him introduced before a game? You list your alma mater and he says Butte Community College. Awfully juvenile, right, for a star quarterback. Um, I, I, is it outrageous to suggest that maybe Aaron Rodgers is a remarkable talent but isn't always elevating the locker room as a whole? I said this yesterday on the Fox show. We know that of A-Rod. We know that of Kobe Bryant. There's all sorts of examples through sports of guys who are transcendent talents, but not necessarily leaders of men. Now, it's okay if you say that about Kobe and A-Rod, but there is something about the quarterback position. If you say that about a quarterback, it's an indictment of him as a man. Is it possible that Jay Cutler is a transcendent talent, but not a great leader? I think that's true. Is it, is it, I, somebody once said, this is a quote I got from an NFL senior official. The running joke in Green Bay in that division for years has been, you know the difference between Jay Cutler and Aaron Rodgers? Aaron can play. Or in other words, they're both a pain in the butt. That's all I've suggested. And if you suggest that, you can't get any criticism. Here's as much as they'll – the headline in the Milwaukee Journal today is Packers' offensive line crumbles under pressure. Actually, Aaron Rodgers admitted after the game – I've got the quote here. Aaron Rodgers admitted after the game that he blew it. Quote, we had an opportunity for an easy pitch and catch, and I got scared. I can't explain it. So even when Aaron Rodgers acknowledges he butchered it, the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, uh, it's the offensive line that's crumbling. When somebody is as popular and as talented as Aaron Rodgers, and he is both, especially in that state, even mild suggestions that he may be not the great leader but the great player are viewed as outrageous. 